91% of baby boomers plan to age in place. This according to a study released by Phillips and the Social Enterprise Initiative at Georgetown University. Aging is a team sport. It's a communal activity. And to try to do it alone <laughs> contradicts every shred of knowledge we have about biology and sociology and cultural anthropology. The trouble with aging in place is that as each year goes by, the odds that you're going to be forcibly removed from your home go up. Human beings are primates, we're social animals, we're actually meant to live in groups. Living alone is very hard for us. We're not meant to do it, really. It's isolating, it's lonely, and if they, they feel if they leave that aging in place, environment, they'll lose their freedom, their autonomy, and their dignity. What I prefer is a notion of an elder living in an environment where they're surrounded by people of different ages and interests, all of whom are part of a community of concern. Currently, more than 300 aging-friendly community initiatives, largely developed in the absence of federal funding or guidance, are in place in the United States. Beacon Hill Village is one such grassroots member organization whose founders wanted to stay engaged in their Boston neighborhood. Now in its 13th year, Beacon Village has 400 members and their operating principles have inspired hundreds of other communities. To learn more, visit www.beaconhillvillage.org.